Two American League teams. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Kansas City Royals. And it happens here on 2K Sports. Just moments from now, it'll be Jake Peavy. His fantastic stuff will be out there on the mound. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball Sunday afternoon. Kauffman Stadium, the new revised, beautiful ballpark in the home of the Royals. And we're going to see Zach Greinke as the starting pitcher. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Now this offense, not among the elite in the game, but certainly one that can still put some runs up on the board. They're going to have to make this right-hander work as he has quality stuff. They're going to have to take advantage of the opportunities that he gives them. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, when you watch Johnny Damon, you don't want to emulate his swing. It's not one of the prettiest swings you ever see in baseball, but it is one of the more effective ones. He's got power. He can hit for average, and when he gets on base, he's a threat to steal. The White Sox won last night. That made it five in a row, and they'd like to try and make it six. What happens when you get in a winning streak like this, when everything starts to click in, you get that swagger when you take the field that the other team notices. Fastball swung out of miss, stolen one. Winning eight of their last ten games will do that for you, swagger-wise, and they certainly hit hard down the right field side as he retreats back for it and gets the out. Got a chance to check out the Royals' defense. Here's what it looks like. Now, Steve, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Jason Kendall's always been known for his ability to call the game. His relationship with the pitching staff has been critical to his success and his team's success. Granke with the delivery. Oh! Ramirez will foul that one away. Right and it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Uh, he's coming off game last night where he had two big hits and looks like he's starting to get locked in a little bit. Oh! Fouled off. Slider swung out and missed. Two down. Oh, Gary, that's an outstanding slider. That great late action with two strikes. Not much you can do with that one. Tough one to hit. Base is empty and two down. Swing and ooh, look out. Line drive that shatters the bat. So one, two, three inning. We're going to take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. And Steve, uh, as you take a look at this Kansas City lineup, what do you think we're going to see? Oh, Jake Peavy on the mound on this one. And you got to take a look. He's got pitches that really move in every direction. That unbelievable two-seam fastball with great movement on it. A cut fastball. He can run into the hands of the left-handers. And an unbelievable slider that's his put-away pitch. A great arsenal of pitches and an aggressiveness on the mound. Pierre watches it for a strike. Hitting 250 lifetime against Jake Peavy. And he lays one down here. Peavy over the first for out number one. And we'll have a chance now to see how the Royals line up presented by Pepsi. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, David DeJesus is never going to be what you look at as a star player, not the marquee guy when you're making out your lineup card, but he's the kind of guy you need. He's going to give you consistent at-bats. He's going to give you everything he has. He's a total team player, and he can give some pitchers fits. Let's see if he can cause some problems here today. And David DeJesus to bat. They had two hits in the game last night, looking to add to that today and trying to contribute to his club success. Called strike, and PB's got him on one. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. On the ground to second. And that is set down to Jesus. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Highlight Steve for these fielders. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there, just a solid all around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Butler's in the box. Called strike, and PB's got him on one. 
and you can throw the ball down to the zone with that kind of movement, it can be very effective. A line drive towards the hole, and they're staying for the third out. Nothing doing here in this. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Leading the MLB in batting average. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. Line drive out of play down the right side. Hit up the middle. Granke. No, Quinton is retired. Now State Farm brings you the teams leading the way in extra base hits for the month. The White Sox number one. The Orioles second. The Red Sox third. The Angels fourth. And number five, the Indians rounded out. And Beckham's in the box. Lifetime numbers, two for five off Zach Granke. Anderson will field. Didn't have a problem getting over there in time. Good pitch right there. Got the hitter a little bit out on his front foot. Easy fly ball to center field. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Granke. Oh, and one. On the way. Strike That's two. a strike and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Uh, if you got a chance to watch the game last night, you saw he took advantage of getting a pitch and hitting it out of the You're ballpark. Out. Got a pitch he could drive and took it deep. Well, he was able to ring up that K and he needed it and it got him out of the inning. And they go quietly on. Second leadoff hitter Rick on Keel. Designated hitter number 24, Rick and Keel. Cutter just missing. One and oh. And Peavy with a 1 0 delivery. It's hit foul by Ann Keel. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Trying to hit that one to the parking lot, but missed. One and two. Swung on, line softly behind second base. Beckham able to pull that one. We well, might have had ourselves a hit if he could just have gotten it up over the second baseman. Unfortunately, not high enough. He's able to make the play. Sinker just missed one and zero. Now coming off a good ball game last night, picking up two hits in that one. 1 0 pitch is a cutter. Swung on and missed. 1 1. Now the 1 1 pitch. On the ground to third. And that one's going to go through. That's our first hit of the game for these guys. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that will bring Mike Avilas to the plate. Runner at first with one down. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Oh. That one misses and gets away from the catcher. Now he's going to run for second, so they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. You got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. There's a bullet towards third. That looks like a single. The run scores. Well, the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Alex Gordon. Well, right there, he just got a pitch he can handle, and he delivers a big RBI for the first run of the game here in the second inning. Pitch out. Nothing was on, though. At the belt, the 1-0. Slider just misses the black, falls behind 2-0. He's averaged a 2-0-3, lifetime off the White Sox. And here's a fastball for a called strike, 2-1. Let's well, see if he bounces back after last night's game, striking out twice. See if he has a little bit more plate discipline. Strike two. And Gordon with a swing and a miss. That is a strike. The count evened up. 
That's it foul by Gordon. And it remains two and two. Well, this is one of these at-bats that you know you want to get something to drive. The bottom line is, though, the pitcher is... Swung on, line softly towards center. And he's on now. That's going to be another hit for them. Good offensive chance here. Well, you wonder he had the energy to run the first base after seeing that many pitches, fouling off pitches, taking tough pitches, but he did. Well, thank goodness he only had to run 90 feet because I'd imagine he was pretty tired. And we've got Anderson batting. The second for one. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get it. And Kendall's in the box. That's a strike. BB gets it by him. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Beckham. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Getting things going early. They get a run in the second. The Royals are in front. One to nothing. We got the bottom three in the lineup due up. And it does get warm here in Kansas City. Coppin Stadium, not quite as breezy as you might like if you're a fan watching this game. Temperature, well, uh, not bad. Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Granke with the delivery. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And so Pierzynski retired. And Mark Tiana. And one of the top ten averages right now. One out, nobody on. Ball swung on, contact. De Jesus to field it. And that'll set down Tian. Two down. Number 27. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. The career batting average for him, 241 off Zach Granke. There's a ball. Hit well. A high drive deep into center field. Tell it goodbye. And they're happy to tie that one up. Back to an even ball game with that solo shot. Credit the White Sox offense attacking, trying to do what they can to bring this thing back, evening it up. Tie game now. Let's see if they can add on some more runs, Gary. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard to second. Velasco. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Well, they pick up a run on the home run and pull even. Even game here in Kansas City. Top of the order is doing. And one Pierre to bat. 0 for 1 thus far. Number 6. Pierre. At the belt. Peavy kicks and throws. Oh! Too far outside. 1 and 0. Here's the 1 0. On the ground to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. And Pierre is retired. Right Let's take a look where the Number Kansas City nine. Royals rank right, right now in the Jesus. American League. Third in strikeouts, fourth in stolen bases, and an offense that's in the top ten in triples. That ability to drive the ball into the gaps is a real asset for a club, but also that speed and aggressiveness to turn them into triples. Fresh count on DeJesus. Here it comes. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. A swing and a batted ball. Damon. Catch is made. For the Kansas City Royals. First base. Number 16. And Butler's in the box. Lined out last time up. Base is empty with two out. And the first pitch. 
fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1 from Peavy. Oh, and no. that's a strike. Billy Butler's going to have to be in a defensive mode in this at bat. Billy Butler swings and misses strike three. Three up, three down for Jake Beebe. And it'll be the White Sox. There is the uh, relatively new manager, Trey Hillman. Ball club tied up right now. Lots of baseball to go, though. Granke with the delivery. A swing and a miss. Ramirez, strike one. But just way out in front of that cutter. Strike, strike two there. Zach Granke now 0 and 2. Tough to hit. Well, that's a great location down in the strike zone with that curveball. And like the right there, you got to swing and miss. But even if they make contact, you're going to get a grounder somewhere to your infield. And able to set him down there. Chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. And Paul Canerco to bat. He's the league leader in ribbies. Base is empty, one out. And he starts Canerco out. And the swinging strike on the first pitch by Greinke, 0 and 1. Oh, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, clearly, he was locked in last night in the ball game, hitting two home runs. Big shots for his team. And see if he can't carry that over to this game. And when you're getting guys out with three pitches, you know you're dominating. That's a time when you know you are definitely in the zone, and he was on that at bat. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's the league leader in hits. And that'll retire the side. Caught by Anderson. Not a lot of action in this half inning. Nothing on. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutt bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And he starts and keel out. Well hit towards the middle. And it's through. Base hit on Keel. So that brings Alberto Cayaspo to the plate. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. This is their final game with Kansas City. Schedule's open tomorrow. They'll kick off a home series with Baltimore. A team they rolled over last time out. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And they'll be up against A-Rod. Alex Rodriguez in the Yankees. It's a team they beat pretty soundly the last time around. So quite a few home games. They'll be looking to capitalize. And it gets through. Great swing today. Now two hits. And he is safe at third ahead of that play. Kansas City gets a shot at it right now. Here's the first pitch. Back up the middle. And that will hold the runners at the corner. Good baseball and a good job. Let's take a look. Uh, you know, we talk about team and baseball, and that's where you see it a lot of times on defense. Here's Alex Gordon now with an RBI opportunity. Now Brzezinski positions himself. This one's grounded hard up the middle. There's one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Number 32, Ryan and Anderson. Well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep your head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down to the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. Well, they score once on two hits, one man left. Kansas City's got the lead now. Middle of the lineup, due up. And Beckham's in the box. Well, they went at him yesterday with a pitch that he could drive, and he took advantage of it. They weren't as careful as they should have been with nobody on base. Hit a home run, solo shot. That's on that off-speed pitch, but can't connect 0-1. That's just a great pitch right there. I mean, that's the hardest pitch for a hitter to try to stay back on. That's why he was out in front of that one. Strike two there. Zach Greinke now 0-2, tough to hit. And that one swung on him, missed by Gordon Beck. He only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Well, that's a tough at bat for the hitter. He's got to walk away almost before he even got there. One out, and Alex Rios at the plate. And uh, at the plate, 
One of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Horrible pitch, but he went after it. It's a strike. Lined up the middle, and that gets the tying run on board. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Let's check out the league hit leaders courtesy of State Farm. A.J. Grounded out last time. One out man on first. Granke with the delivery. Strike one. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Here's the delivery. Pitch out. Nothing doing though. There's a swing and a hit deep into center field. Way back there. Gone. A two run homer. And the Pepsi WPA graph, uh, two RBI home run. Take a look at what it's done for their chances. Well, another home run right there. That's two now. So really, this, this lineup looking like they're getting very comfortable. Uh, Gary White Sox couldn't be happier right now. They've gotten the hits they needed. They've taken the lead. They're looking to add on more, hoping to end up winning this game. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. Steve, a big fly like that at this point in the ball game. You, you start thinking, you know something, we're going to win this ball game. Well, backbreaker, boy, that kind of power shows the other team that, you know what, you always have a chance to catch up or extend your lead. You're Swing out. and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. Good movement, 89 miles hitter. per hour. Hey, Cam shows it to you. And, and as Jim told me in the box now, right there in the top five and home runs. Here's the delivery. Oh! Tommy will foul that one away. Oh, and one. Granky. That ball is built a deep left center. That ball is way back there. Gone. Goodbye. Home run. Well, it, the pitcher's going to have to make some adjustments right now, Gary. That's the third home run he's given up in this game. The hitters have figured out some kind of sequence they're queuing on. Now, well, good hitting coaches help the hitters do that. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Throws on the first side is retired. That's a challenging inning on the mound. Zach Greinke trying to get through it. A half dozen strikeouts for him so far in the ball game. And coming up, Isaac Gian taking a look at you right there. Glad he is. And Kendall's in the box. Now Przinski sets up. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. So Kendall is retired. Here's what the White Sox schedule looks like. This is their final game with Kansas City. They'll get on the road tomorrow. They'll kick off a home series with Baltimore. The team they rolled over last time out. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And after that, it's about defending home field against the Yankees. Mark Bashar and company come to town. The team they beat in the previous series between the two. Lots of home games. That's always a good thing. And we got Pierre batting. White Sox winning last night. That made it five in a row, and they'd like to try and make it six. And this ball club has really, really been on a tear lately in every phase of the game. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Winning eight out of their last ten, and they have an energy about keeping this going. Well, they sure do, and it's really, really tough, almost impossible to sustain an 800 winning streak for such a long time. But a hot streak can do wonders for a team's position in the standings. Out two men have been put away. That's some kind of play right here to be able to get to the ball quickly, transfer it to your throwing hand, rifle it over to first base to get the runner. Nice play.
First count on De Jesus. Here it comes. Swung on. That is hit. Whoa! Get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. So that brings up Billy Butler. One of the teams leading the way in swipes found on our State Farm leaderboard. Rays number one. The Angels in second. In the third spot, the A's. Rangers fourth. Number five, the Royals rounded up. This team will clearly run. When they get people on base, they're going to try to put them in motion and put pressure on the defense, trying to get the infielders to move to find some holes. First pitch is on the way to Butler. Swung on line softly to right. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. Kansas City gets a shot at it right now. Put a nice swing on that one. He was sitting on fastball, got fastball, rips it to right field. Nice job. A Rick on Keel, a chance with two out and two on. It's fourth time around, he's gone one for the object. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Strike two now with no balls and two strikes on Keel needs to protect the strike zone. Oh. It's hit foul by Ann Keel. And Rick on Keel comes up empty. Took the cut, but he didn't catch up to it. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. The White Sox still ahead. Two hole to get things started next. Get warm here in Kansas City. Coffin Stadium, not quite as breezy as you might like if you're a fan watching this game. Temperature, well, uh, not bad. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. He's number one in runs scored in the league. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Now swinging a shot towards second. That's one away. More MLB coming your way this Wednesday. It's a road game for the Dodgers. They travel to Milwaukee to take on the Brewers at Miller Park. Start time is 8 o'clock Eastern. Oh, Gary, that should be a fun one to watch for sure. And Paul Canerco to bat. He's the league leader in hits. One out, nobody on. And he starts Canerco out. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Greinke, 0 and 1. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. But Erko now will look to tighten up that zone. Now, if you got a chance to see last night's ball game, you saw what a major contribution he made. One and two. two home runs in that game and hit some good pitches out of the ballpark, and he's locked in right now. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. Well, this is where you want to go with two strikes on the hitter. You want to go down out of the zone. He swings through it, couldn't make contact with that one. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. Big things can happen anytime he steps in that batter's box. First pitch to Quinton. And the swinging strike on the first pitch by Greinke, 0-1. Obviously, he's a major force in this lineup. They want people to get on base in front of him so he can hit it out of the park. The pitch struck him out. That's number eight in the game. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. White Sox four, Royals two. The first pitch. Ground ball to short. Fielded by Ramirez. And Diaspo retired. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hits. A lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. One out. Base is empty. Here's the first pitch. Called strike, and Peavy's got him on one. 
Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Here's the pitch. Oh, Good two. hard slider that time. He's in control in the count now. 0 and 2. Liner between first and second. Beckham in time for the up. Let's take a look where the Kansas City Royals rank right now in the American League. Third in strikeouts, fourth in stolen bases, and an offense that's in the top ten in triples. That ability to drive the ball into the gaps is a real asset for a club, but also that speed and aggressiveness to turn them into triples. Here's the delivery. He swings and lines this one softly towards the left side. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Oh, I love being able to get hits with two outs. Even if there's no one on base, you don't drive in any runs. What it does is, though, it prolongs the inning, and it makes the opposing pitcher work harder and can possibly get him out of the game earlier. Called strike, and PB's got him on one. Well, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. 0-1. Good hard cutter in for a called strike. Well, the hitter's dug himself a pretty deep hole right here. Let's see if he can battle himself out of it. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. So Jake Peavy holding it down. He's still looking to preserve the lead for the win. And it'll be the White Sox. And Beckham's in the box. We'll start things off here in the seventh. Number 50, Gordon Beckham. First pitch on the way. A smash towards the hole. Now we have a look at the league leaders for the best on base percentage. The table setters brought to you by State Farm. What a tough group of hitters right here to pitch to. They battle, they scratch, they claw, they find a way to get on base, and they really wear down the opposing pitcher. And he starts Rios out. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Greinke. 0-1. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. A smash to first. Over to second for one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Still a bit of baseball left to be played in the season. Here's what the Central Division race is looking like, courtesy of State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. Twins in the third spot. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. Wings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. Boy, well, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. Strike, Strike two there, Zach Greinke now, 0-2, tough to hit. Well, as a hitter, if you're looking for something off speed, you don't swing at anything hard. And that's what he did. He wasn't expecting that speed, and he swung late. Down on strikes there. Nice for a piece of pitching work. Mark. Now we've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. Now here is Mark Tia. Two outs and a man on first. Granke with the delivery. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. There's a swing, a drive down the left field line. It's towards the corner. Gone, a two run homer. Now a four run ball game. They just doubled their lead on that one. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Designated hitter, number 27, Jim Tomei. Two outs and nobody on. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Here's one hit very well deep. Anderson will field. That one's grabbed. Side retired. So Zach Greinke is heading off. Working a little domination here today. He has nine strikeouts. Stretch time here in Kansas City.
There's a familiar face on us again looking up. Number eight. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, line to right field. And that gets down. Kendall's got a single. The throw. Oh, Juan Pierre will come up. A look at the teams with the lowest ERA for the month, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. Second, the Yankees. The Angels, third. Rangers, fourth. And at number five on the list, the Rays. You take a look at these pitching staffs and how successful they've been. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. One. Over to first and safe. Very close play. He will not get the double play. Number nine. Well, you'll take base runners any way you can get them, and sometimes you don't have to have the prettiest swing to be effective. This infield single right here might get this team started. Fresh count on De Jesus. Here it comes. That's a strike. Peavy gets it by him. Well, this guy has some great late breaking sink on his fastball. It's his out pitch. And that's a strike to Jesus. He's now got to guard the plate. Even though the hitters know it's coming, Steve, that out pitch you're talking about with that movement, and it's tough to get under it. Well, that, that's the issue. The sinker down in the zone. Hitters tend to swing over the top of the ball or top the ball directly into the ground. And he's got it now. And that'll set down to Jesus. I thought they had a shot at a double play right there, but at least they got one out. But now a runner in scoring position at second base. First pitch, here it comes. Ground ball towards second. Beckham throws on to first, side is retired. Well, that was a quick inning right there, seven pitches. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. And out on the mound, we've got Robinson Tejada as they make the pitching swap. Hit hard to second. And so Damon retired. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. He bounced out his last time. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Swung off, hit down the line and left. This one into the corner. This one towards Pierre. Gone a home run. Add one more to that lead. Solo, big fly ball up by five. Well, the two seamers supposed to have tailing well, movement on it. He just didn't have the movement he wanted right there. The hitter decided to move it over the wall. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Reaches off for that one. He's behind on the count on one. And Steve, uh, this is a point in the ball game where you are really putting it to the opposition. The long ball can do that to you late. Well, there's no question. I mean, you give up those home runs and it just deflates your own team. So offense ruling the day. And it's in time from his knees to get the out. Two fine plays in one right there, the dive and the throw. That's not an easy throw. When you're on your knees to be able to get that sort of strength on the ball, that's great arm strength. First pitch to Quinton. Slider swung on a miss. 0 oh and 1. But Gary Slider is such an effective pitch, and it, it, it's this guy's put away pitch. When he needs to pick out, that's where he's going to go. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. There's a swing and a smash. Anderson will field. And he's there to retire the sun. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox, they've got a commanding five-run lead. Trey Hillman you're looking at the thoughts of a manager one can only speculate but at this point you got to believe he's he's got some words for that next practice and he starts and keel out swing and a bouncer up the middle back up one away fastball and flight two for three thus far base is empty one out Ground ball towards the second baseman. Back up. 
two away for the Kansas City Royals. Shortstop, number 30. Avila's at the plate, grounded out his last time through. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Fastball in there for a called strike. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, they just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdown's there. You only need four outs left to win this ballgame. Still 0 and 2. Swung on, line softly towards center. And he gets that one down, his second hit, two for four today. So Alex Gordon will come up. Boy, I don't know on that count, Steve, number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that one. Wow. You're right, on an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. Looks like the cutter that time for a tall strike. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pick. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Gordon out. Solid outing moves on here. Jake Peavy. He's looking to preserve that good lead and get a W. And it'll be the White Sox. Middle of the lineup. Due up. Look at the manager, Ozzy Guillen. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. You know, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So, interesting move. There's a swing towards the hole. And Beckham set down. Let's check out the league hit leaders, courtesy of State Farm. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. Nothing. Six lifetime ABs against Tejeda. And he starts Rios out. Swings and misses. The good change right there. 0 and 1. He delivers. Hit hard on the ground to short. Two away. And the Royals in the midst of the wild card race in the American League. They wrap up the Chicago series today. Following that, they'll be on the road to play the Tigers and uh, one of the game's best hitters, Miguel Cabrera. A team that will definitely give them a competitive series. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then they kick off a series with division rivals, the Indians. That series bound to be competitive. A lot of road games on the way. Now the first pitch. He swings and drives this one. And that'll retire the side. Caught by Anderson. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rest you. Chance to see the expression of Trey Hillman. Trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. Anderson up now. Called strike. And PB's got him on one. I think right now offensively you've got to start getting base runners. Get as many as you can. I mean, you're down a ton, so you don't need big hits, you don't need home runs, you need base runners. And he watches one at the knees, and it's one and two. Grounded up the middle. Back up. And that'll set down Anderson. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Called strike. And PB's got him on one. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Head up the middle, PB. So Kendall is retired. Now down to their final out right here, Gary. So made it looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. And it's Juan Pierre now. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. Swung on grounder. This might be it. Fielded by Ramirez. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it.
Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. And we present our Pepsi Clutch Performance Award. A terrific mound game. The work of Jake Peavy. Well, yeah, I agree. Complete games seem to be a dying art, but every now and again, someone tosses a gem like this one. What I like is that even though he wasn't perfect, his manager gave him the chance and showed enough confidence in him that he could get the job done and finish it off, and he did. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of offense, it takes the hometown crowd out of the game and really helps your chances. So for Steve Phillips and John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.